Hi, I'm Klaus Pelz. I would like to show you a really cool software product called retouch for me retouch for me uses AI technology to help you editing your photos without the use of any blur methods like airbrushing. It preserves the skin structure and keeps the natural look of your photos. I have never promoted any products on this channel before and when I tell you this is awesome, I really mean it. Retouch for me has a bunch of different modules to choose from and they integrate in Photoshop, so you are doing everything in Photoshop as you are used to. I am going to show you the four most helpful modules for my workflow. Let's get started. Here is a photo of model Greg and he is not wearing any makeup. You can see that he has some skin blemishes and a little bit of redness, mostly on his nose. Let's take care of that first. Let's duplicate the background layer and then go to Filter, Retouch for me and select Retouch for me skin tone. You can see how the photo is being analyzed and you get an instant preview of what the outcome will be using the settings you have. You can click and hold here to see the before and after. Let's zoom in a little more and here again is the before and after. You can adjust down here if you want more or less skin toning applied. And when you click here, you can see the changes on the mask. I don't want any changes to his lips, so I can use the eraser on the mask. And you can see that the lips are not affected. I prefer to do this on the mask in the layers panel, so I'm using the brush to fill the mask again. I click apply and the changes are done. I'm creating a mask and black out the lips as I had mentioned before. Let's create a merged layer and try retouch for me dodge and burn. I'm not speeding anything up, what you see is real time processing. The skin has been even out nicely, here is before and after. I'll increase the blend a little and click apply. This looks nice, now we need to address some blemishes. Again, we're creating a merge layer and now we'll use retouch for me heal. I'll zoom in a little and here is our before and after. Looks great, so I'll click apply. Let's compare the complete before and after. The changes are subtle, but that's exactly the difference between a professional photo and one that's not. Now let's see how retouch for me did in comparison to my manual retouching. I think my manual retouching looks better, like here under the chin, but the results I got with just a few clicks and retouch for me is amazing. Now let's work on a full body shot. This is Bodybuilder Todd, body painted by makeup artist Orlando Basalo. Todd has some red skin that needs to be fixed, a few skin blemishes and we have a white paper background that has some marks on it. Let's duplicate the background layer and open Retouch for me skin tone. Most of the red skin areas are already gone. I'll increase the blend to get a little more skin toning on the knee and the foot. This time I select Soft Light layer before I click Apply. Because we selected soft light layer, we now have a non-destructive layer and we can see the colors that have been used to get an even skin tone. 
I like how there is no hidden magic going on here. We can see exactly what Retouch for me has done. We changed the blend mode for that layer to soft light and you can see the outcome when I click that layer on and off. Let's duplicate the background layer and use the dodge and burn plugin. I'll check the before and after, select soft light layer and click apply. Like before, I'm changing the blend mode to soft light and you can see that I can turn the skin tone layer and the dodge burn layer on and off independent from each other. This gives us more flexibility than having the changes baked into the layers as I showed at the beginning. Let's duplicate the background layer again and use the heal plugin. I'm leaving the settings, turn on Make Mask and click Apply. When I turn off the other layers, you can see every spot where the healing was applied. Now let's clean up the white paper background. I'll duplicate the background layer and go to Retouch for me Clean Backdrop. I select Make Mask and click Apply. I see one spot that is still there, otherwise this looks very clean. Let's turn all adjustment layers off and on together. And then let's see how Retouch for me did compared to my manual retouching. Again, Retouch for me has done an amazing job. There are a few areas like the stretch mark left to be worked on, but overall this photo looks great. Our third photo features Brazilian bodybuilder Derek back in 2016 and his skin might have had a reaction from shaving. At this point I would like to show you another Retouch for me plugin called the Panel. Once installed, you will find it under Plugins. You simply select the plugins that you have purchased, assuming they make sense for the photo. We don't have a backdrop to clean, so I'm only selecting Heal, Dodge and Burn and Skin Tone. You can click on this arrow and adjust the settings, but I'm leaving everything as it is. You can click this play button and run each plugin separately, but I'm not doing that either. I'm super lazy and I just click on Retouch. Retouch for me runs all plugins that I selected and creates non-destructive layers for each of them. Skin Tone created a second layer and its opacity is set pretty low. So if I want more skin toning, I can just increase the opacity. I like my workspace nice and clean, so I'm putting the panel with my layers and channels over here. Now I can easily switch back and forth between my layers and my Retouch for Me panel. Now let's see how the edited photo compares to my manual retouching. Like before, my manual retouching was better, but we had real breakout skin to start with. One click in the Retouch for Me panel saved me a lot of time on the skin cleanup and I can focus more on adding my style as I did in the photo on the right. If you are interested in getting Retouch for Me, you can try it for free or use the link in my description for a 20% discount. Thanks for watching.